entrance is free the museum is free taking photos is free so Wynwood Walls is definitely one of those activities that is exploring Miami on a budget Okay, so I successfully made it into Wynwood Walls. It's super duper sunny, as you can see, and it is bright and vibrant, but not as bright and vibrant as me. <laughs> it's really a struggle. I assumed that bringing Sophie was going to be a lot easier than it is, but as you can see, she's pulling me everywhere. She is not behaving. She's as excited as me and it's a bit hard to hold her as I hold my camera and attempt to get good photos. So wish us luck and stay tuned. Okay, before we get this day started, let's dive into the outfit of the day. Of course, of course I'm wearing a piece from Accent Styles Boutique because would this be Angie's vlog if I wasn't? I'm also carrying a backpack. Accent Styles Boutique. I'm not really a purse girl. I prefer backpacks or fanny packs, so this is right up my alley. Um, but yeah, that's the outfit of the day. I am wearing some super fun, I call them vlogging feet, but they're really called Vibrams. Um, I bought them online. Amazon. They're really easy for walking, for working out, and yoga. So if any of those activities entice you, these would be the shoes for you. I'm going to grab lots and lots of photos of all of the wall art surrounding me. Do me a favor, tribe. Write in the comments below. Um, interpret the paintings. Let me know what they look like to you, how they make you feel. Um, talk to me. Let me know if you want to see more activities like this. Let me know if, oh wow, that's pretty cool. There's like little faces everywhere. One, two, three. I should start a game. How many faces do you see on this painting? personally been to Wynwood a lot and this is definitely a new exhibit or a new art piece it's definitely a new art piece I'm excited because I have always thought that the art at Wynwood stays exactly the same but I'm learning that it changes often I think they choose like an artist to either reward or allow to showcase his piece or her piece right um, Yes, I think the pieces change. The pieces change throughout the year. Okay, so every single time that I come here, this is definitely one of my pieces or one of my favorite pieces, should I say. I would love to do my research and find out who is the artist behind here? I would love to like follow him or her on Facebook or on Instagram and maybe even purchase a piece. Like this is definitely something that I would love in my home. I don't think it's by chance that they put this person that looks very much um, indigenous and this person that looks very much African side by side. Um, fun fact, a lot of Hispanics, Mexican specifically, look very Indian or indigenous or Aztec and Inca, right? And so when African-Americans, originally Africans, 
came over to America for slavery, the closest place to run was Mexico. It was easier to run to Mexico than to run to the North for freedom. So, this just reminds me about like the African presence in Mexico. So, feel free to share in the comments exactly what this piece means to you or what you think of when you see this piece. I am dying to hear all of your opinions. Wynwood Walls is a healthy balance of food and art, ice cream, and museums. So maybe you come here and you aren't exactly excited to see all of these beautiful wall pieces, all of this art that is surrounding you. Maybe you feel better just sitting and getting ice cream. You feel better about walking into the museum. Or maybe you just want to hit a few bars because Wynwood in general has like it's known for like fun culture there's lots of bars there's lots of eateries there's beautiful like expensive cars driving down the road often so if you are looking for any type of fun Wynwood is definitely your <laughs>
Wynwood Walls is definitely one of those activities that is exploring Miami on a budget. So I am all finished at Wynwood Walls. On my way exiting, I learned that they have a gift shop. I had never seen a gift shop before. Um, I am headed to go grab some tacos before I get on the road because I'm super duper hungry. And then I'm heading to the house of Versailles to grab coffee and a sweet. So I got super duper hungry. Felt myself a little hungry after walking around Woodwood for so long that I decided to stop in the called. I decided to stop in the taco stand Miami and grab some tacos. I feel like when in Rome, do as the Romans. Everywhere I turn around, people are eating Spanish food, people are eating tacos, people are enjoying mojitos. So, here I am. I ordered the Baja, the Pescado, chips and guacamole, a water, and a lemonade. When you walk in, you know that you're still in Wynwood because you see lots of graffiti art on every single corner of this restaurant. You know that you're still in Miami because there's lots of Spanish music. As soon as you walk in, every single restaurant in Miami feels like a great time. So when you walk in, you know that you're about to have some good authentic food. You're about to have a great time. And the thing that stood out the most was the, where's the sign? There's a sign that says, if you see it there, it says, Pecho a mano, which means like made by hand. So everything in here is handmade. You don't have to question like, if the flour tortillas or the corn tortillas are gonna be bomb, because they are. Everything in here is authentically made. So, you can even see like where the churros are fried, you can see where the chips are fried. Um, tortilla chips are basically tortillas that are fried, right? Not rocket science. <laughs> Maybe it's a new fact for someone, but it isn't, it isn't rocket science. So yeah, that's how they create their chips. The guacamole, you can actually see it being made. You can see every part of the taco process, and I love that. Okay, so my last and final stop in Miami is Versailles. And if you can't tell, I am all the way in the back. There is a really long line because everyone else, just like me, is aware of how great the coffee is and how good the pastries are. So, I don't know how long I'll be in this line, but I know that I'm not getting out of it because this is always one of my last stops when I'm leaving here. Um, number one, the sweets are to die for. And number two, the coffee always gives me like that extra boost to survive the four hour ride. So just for clarity, there are two sides of this place. There's the restaurant, which I have been to often. Um, I usually get like a pasta or some type of like paella. Today, I'm not doing any of that. I'm strictly here for the sweets and coffee, and that's the other side of the restaurant that is a bakery only. So when you come, you wanna get their signature Cuban coffee. It comes in a small cup. You guys will see that when I get it. Um, it's similar to just like a shot of espresso. There's like no extra cream. So the bakery doesn't just stop at coffee and sweets. They do have traditional Cuban sandwiches. They do have uh, fried potatoes. They have a few options here. I wanna say that it's just smaller a la carte items versus the full entree that you would get on the other side. Okay, so just so you can get an idea, when I say small coffee, you can see the exact size. Like, I feel like, <laughs> I almost said that it's the size of my nose, but it's not. Um, this is a lot bigger. It's like...
so it isn't big at all it's really small I want to say it's about one or two inches big but it is so powerful it's super duper strong I guarantee when I drink this I probably won't sleep today hoping that you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as I enjoyed making it like share and subscribe and make sure if you're in Miami stop whatever you're doing make some time for authentic Cuban coffee and desserts and visit Art in Wynwood.